Hey guys, Will Patson here with another Illustrator CC tutorial and I'm going through a few videos about this medallion that I've made in Illustrator and today I'm going to show you how to create these zigzags or these little line paths in the uh, sort of a border radius of it. Last week I showed you how to create uh, the stars in the circle and the uh, stars in the circles in a big circle and today I'm going to show you how to create these and it's very easy to do and it's a really cool uh, feature or not feature but Really cool way that I found out how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead into a new file. Um, and then I'm going to choose a thousand by a thousand. And then I'm going to press L to get my marquee tool up. And then uh, I'm going to go from the center by hitting shift and alt. And once I've done that, I'm going to exp uh, expand my stroke a bit like so. Okay, the first thing I want to do is highlight the stroke area. And I'm going to go to effect. And then I'm going to go to distort and transform. And then zigzag. Now, if I preview this, I'm just going to bring this over. If I preview that, um, you can see that it's sort of like a hexagon now. It's not what we want. So the first thing I'm going to do is press smooth. And then we've got these uh, numerical uh, sort of values here. So I'm going to go and play with these. So I want the uh, the ridges per segment to go up. And then I want to make sure that I've got like a nice smooth curve to it all, but not poking out too much. Can you do 0.5? Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm going to press OK. The problem is now is that we have an effect on a stroke. So we need to go ahead and press Object, and then we're going to go to Path, and we're going to expand this stroke by pressing Outline, and that outlines the stroke. But you can see that the Path effect is still there, so it's still technically a circle, but the stroke has been expanded. So if I was to put like a different uh, fill in it, it would still be sort of a circle fill. So I just pressed uh, back on that. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and expand the whole thing. And you can see this blue line has gone into the center of the stroke. And that looks good. The problem is what I've done here uh, is I've just uh, failed again. Is that here I want to get rid of my fill uh, to no fill. Then I want to go ahead and do that again. I did that in my last video that I had to delete. Lol. Okay, so we've done that. And then we need to go ahead and expand it again. Awesome, that's it. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to copy this by highlighting it and pressing copy, command C, and then command F to paste in front. I'm going to zoom in a bit here, and then I'm going to go ahead and move this around. Maybe zoom out quite a bit there. I'm going to zoom this around and then uh, hopefully get my desired effect. There we go. So as soon as you sort of see that when I moved it around, it's in like... Uh, rotated it around it went a lot easier there. I held shift to kept the maintain the aspect ratio of it all and then that is how I created that sort of line piece there and then um, I'm gonna I could even keep these as two shapes or I could uh, bring them together by merging them by pressing unite in the pathfinder option which will make one shape and in the center of this you can carry on doing bits of your medallion by pressing here and doing a circle maybe and then uh, pressing here and doing another circle. And then uh, switching this from that to a stroke. And then just bumping up your stroke. And then maybe scale it back down a bit. Like so. And then you can sort of carry on with it. Now this can be done uh, here. And then it can be done in this border area here as well. So that's something to keep in mind. And then in the center of it, next week we're going to talk about, in the medallion series anyway, we're going to talk about how to create uh, this part here in the center, I believe, um, which is really cool and really easy. It just makes it look cool. And then we'll talk about um, probably how I got this effect with the strokes and stuff over here, and then how I got the sunburst effect there, and some of the line stuff here as well. So... I'm going to show you guys how I did that in the next week. But I've got some news for you. I'm going to be putting out new videos of uh, maybe a few more tool series videos. And um, I'm going to start doing more speed designs. So the idea of what I want to do is I want to do um, a speed design. And then the next day I'm going to, up well, I'm going to upload a speed design of me doing something. Then the next day I'm going to go through uh, some of the key tutorials that I use or the key uh, learning things that you could learn from within that video the next day so you guys can do it yourself. Uh, let me know what you think of that because I think that's a cool idea. I wanted to sort of
get a bit more creative and not just teach people, but show my creative side on YouTube a bit more. Uh, but let me know how you think. And also a big shout out to Falling Knowledge. If you don't know him, he's a class guy. I was on a Skype call with him yesterday and he does video tutorials on Illustrator. He's a really cool guy. Go and support him by subscribing to his channel. I really love him. Uh, he's a really class guy. So guys, thank you so much for watching and thanks for bearing with me at the end of this video. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.